Hello Darts Melts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm going to be reviewing the DePaul's Martin Schindler The Wall Darts. I have done a couple of reviews on the DePaul's brand before. It's a Greek brand and these were actually sent to me by Akis Anisis and his brother Nico and they're the guys who uh, run the DePaul's brand and I'm not sure whether the players are also involved but I know that there's a few others involved including Martin Schindler that run the shop in Germany called the Darts Pool Shop Germany. So I'll put a link up to that shop and I'll also put a link up to the DePaul site so if you want to check them out. So many thanks to Akis for helping me get a set of these much appreciated and I know a lot of people have been asking for a review on these so let's check them out so the darts are only in 23 gram in steel tip and 18 gram in soft tip the 90% tungsten and the retail for roughly around 79 pound so the darts come in this pretty solid cardboard box and there's a little magnetic closure on the lid there so that keeps that secure inside there's a, a dense form inlay and they come supplied with a set of blue I think it said there was 75 micron uh, standard shape flights obviously you've got the barrels can't get them out they're well stuck in <laughs> and a set of the medium polycarbonate invisible stems but obviously I can see them so <laughs> just joking but there you go that's what you get in the pack the darts fit with black quarter point and it's one of them slightly unusual to describe shapes you kind of got a fairly long front taper and then a bulbous section and then it kind of goes into a scallop just for very subtle if you look closely you can just see the curve and then it kind of like almost like a straight section on the the rear from the and if you look at the uh, section at the rear here it's got kind of like brick etched pattern into it so slightly more grippy there but it is quite thin there compared to this part now I've tried to look at Martin Schindler's grip and it's a little bit hard to see exactly but I don't even think he grips there I think he's gripping more like that but like I say it's a little bit difficult to see it properly so obviously that's the meaty part of the dart and I suspect for mid grippers it might be quite nicely balanced there but well, the rest of the uh, shape of the dart kind of sits in your fingers quite nicely but if you're a rear gripper and you kind of cup the dart with your other fingers I think you'll probably find it quite comfortable as well as you know I'm a front gripper so that would be where my natural grip is so I'm not sure these are going to fly quite right for me but I think for mid and rear grippers it's probably going to be a nice one and there's the polycarbonate invisible but yeah, I can actually see them. <laughs> Invisible medium stems and 75 micron standard shape flights. Now, some people prefer the slightly thinner flights because you get a bit more flex from them. And obviously, that is one thing about the 75 micron. Stiffer flights may cause more deflections, but it's all personal preference in the end. So you've got a smooth tapered section at the front and then a fairly wide ring grip and um, quite deep grooves in between the rings and it kind of like gets a bit chunky around the middle and kind of goes straight for a little bit and then on towards the rear it kind of goes into a scallop but you've got these thin rings with wider and deeper grooves and as you can see they've got that kind of cross cut brick pattern etched into the rings and then you've got a smooth straight section on the end of the barrel so that's the super close look at the DePaul's man the wall Schindler darts the darts fit with a black coat 25 millimeter point you've got a smooth tape but that's 10 millimeters then you've got this ring grip section which gets kind of chunky that's 19 millimeters and then you kind of got a slopey part 
and it gets onto the ring grip with the etched brick style pattern and slightly deeper and wider grooves that's 14 millimeters then a smooth section on the end of 7.9 millimeters length 50.9 millimeters width 7.1 millimeters twenty three point three four grams twenty three point three nine grams and twenty three point four three grams so a bit heavier on that last one full setup twenty five point zero eight grams here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights it's around a medium level grip but the section with the cross cuts is just a little bit grippier so 6.5 at most I was expecting them to be kind of spirally because of the way they're shaped but I think I probably would have held it right up to the nose but I'm holding it just as it gets wider so I think we're a little bit closer to the balance there so I think that helps a bit but um, is this slightly strange shape But definitely from there it's not flying too bad I'm just gonna try it where I would naturally grip it which would probably be around there just to see what happens because it gets pretty thin there and like I say it's a slightly unusual shape so yeah, a little bit spirally but I was kind of expecting that I still got a treble though but Overall, flying a lot better than I was expecting it to be. I just thought with it being a slightly strange shape, it would be flying a bit weird. I think it's probably going to be better for mid grippers or when you're in the chunky part, or maybe, like I said before, rear grippers if you like to cup your hand around it. So try it from the middle now. Treble one champion. I think it's definitely flying smoother from there. Ooh, got a treble there. They're burying themselves right up to the nose of the barrel again. <laughs> I don't think I'm throwing that hard. I think it's just this this board is really soft. I think that's just why it's doing that. Yeah, definitely flies smoother from there because you just got a a more balanced part of the dart to hold I think so if you're a mid gripper I think it'll be fine come out oh blimey what was that stuck in yeah definitely sweet spot around there but I think if you're a front gripper if you're happy enough just moving up to just about where it gets uh, wider you'll probably be fine but definitely if you're fully on that chunky part a really nice balance so maybe best for mid grippers but we'll see what it's like from the rear Not too bad there from that rear grip. Feels a little bit more grippy there as well, but actually feels quite comfortable in the fingers there. And I think having the balance around that middle section just helps a little bit, makes it a little bit easier to throw for me than some of the darts that I try from the rear grip. I'm going into the balls now. <laughs> A 
So yeah, they're flying a lot smoother than I thought they would. So definitely should be fine for rear grippers and quite pleasant feeling throwing it from there. Hmm, flew a lot better than I was expecting from there. So there you go. Good one for mid and rear grippers, I think. They were thrown from the rear grip. I, look, I got two in the treble 20 with the rear grip, so <laughs> I am surprised with these. Like I say, I think if I practice with these for a bit longer, who knows what might happen. I might not be a natural, not a natural rear gripper anymore. I might be a natural rear gripper, but I didn't realize it. <laughs> realize it realize it you know what i meant but no it actually feels quite comfortable throwing it from the rear um but when i was throwing it just then i think i was going back a little bit more and just relaxing my hand a little bit just letting the dart do the work it seems to work i just feel as if i haven't got 100 percent control of it though it just kind of feels a bit more fluky than anything but i haven't said that when i was doing it earlier on they were going fairly straight from the rear so Mid and rear grippers, I think you're going to get the best out of it. If you're a front gripper and you're happy enough to move up a little bit where it gets a bit wider, I think it'll still be fine. But overall, I think mid and rear grippers are going to be the ones that benefit the most from it. Now, I think these are exactly, well, maybe not exactly, but very similar to the Target um, Taylor Gen 3 darts. Now I remember when I, I tried them, I never really liked them. I think that out of all the Target Taylor darts, they were the ones that I liked the least. But that might have been because I was trying them with the little Taylor flights. These ones, like I say, are similar shape, but seem to be flying a lot better than what I remember them flying. So probably be worth me giving them a, another try, I think. Uh, so there you go that's the Depoles Martin Schindler darts I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them and I'll see you in the next one happy darting <laughs>